Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about muscle memory and cell nuclei and why after you become detrained or stop lifting, it's easier for you to build back muscle and strength when you're done. Before I get into that topic, if you have a question or comment, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions, the best questions I turn into videos just like this. So a lot of questions guys will ask me, is muscle memory a real thing? And before I knew any of the science behind muscle memory, I had experienced periods of time where I was away from the weights, and I've been training for 31 years, where I would come back and I would rock it up in strength or gain almost all of my muscle mass back, and we're talking 20 to 25 pounds, in, in a very short period of time. So I had experienced muscle memory um, to a degree, and for me it was real, but that was just my bro science opinion. But when you look at the science behind it, here's what we think goes on. You add cell nuclei. Uh, strength training is shown to add cell nuclei. Um, it's also shown when you become untrained or detrained that the cell nuclei remain in the cell. They don't go away. So when you return, you have a little bit of amplified muscle protein synthesis. Your body's able to just rocket you a little bit quicker back up to where you were. And I hope that makes some sense. And I'm not uh, I'm not a super science guy, so this is the best way that I understand it. And I want to present it to you guys in a way you would understand it. But these cell nuclei that are built, um, when you build muscle, you don't actually build new fibers. You make the muscle cell bigger. You make the fiber bigger and stronger. And to support that, you're adding cell nuclei. Again, science has shown that these cell nuclei don't go away when you're untrained or detrained. So when you come back to the gym after time away, it's a little bit easier to build muscle and strength. It's like adding on an addition to your house. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a little bit of cold. It's like adding on an addition to your house. You can, you can abandon that house, but when you come back, it still has that potential. It still has that extra potential. Or like putting a, an upgrade in your car. You cannot drive it. You can just walk away from it. When you come back, it's ready to go again. It's got the, it still has that upgrade. That's kind of what you're doing. You're upgrading your muscle cells. So you can go away. They can lie dormant. But when you come back, you'll notice, hey, I'm building strength more quickly than I did as a noob. Hey, I'm building muscle more quickly than I, as I, I did as a noob. Things are coming back. And that's good news, um, not only for those of you that are away from the gym for a long period of time. Maybe you played a college sport or whatever, and you didn't lift for 10 years. It's also good news for very, very obese people who have gained muscle mass during the uh the period of time where they became morbidly obese and science also shows that when you become morbidly obese you don't just gain fat you also build muscle mass so the morbidly obese person who loses some muscle mass during that fat loss process is going to experience muscle memory because they have the added cell nuclei so that once they lose the weight they can still add on those five to ten pounds of muscle a little bit easier so that's good news for those of you that are struggling with a lot of extra body fat. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.